IEEE, the world's largest professional organization of engineers, proudly presents How to Control Your Home and Car in 2025 with your host, IEEE member, Diogo Monica. Hi there, folks. The Internet of Things is paving the way for how we'll be able to interact with our electronics and devices in the future. Recently, IEEE developed a global survey that pulled over 3,000 tech enthusiasts on how they would like to interact with the devices in their home in the year 2025. Come on, let's see what the future might hold. 35% of respondents indicated that they would like to open their front doors through mind control. This wireless headset conducts a test called electroencephalogram, or EEG, which monitors brain waves and translates information to a receiver, in this case, the front door, causing it to lock and unlock. Here are a couple of tech and security tips of how it works. While it looks like magic, all the technologies being used here are actually very commonplace. In particular, all the wireless communications are being done using known wireless technologies, such as Bluetooth and Wi-Fi, an IEEE standard. You don't need to be worried about someone stealing your monitor and opening your front door with it. Research has shown that the continued voltage fluctuations that your brain emits are actually unique and they can be used to know if you are the person wearing the monitor or not. Now that we've unlocked and opened the door, let's go inside. Follow me. Ah, the kitchen. I wonder what's cooking. I smell innovation in the air. About a quarter of respondents noted that they would like to control their kitchen with mobile devices, which will be able to control nearly everything from turning on and off your oven to communicating with your refrigerator when you need more eggs or milk. With all of this mobile communication, here are a few things to keep in mind. All of these devices are now going to be part of your home network, and you will need to protect them individually. A vulnerability in any of these home devices might mean an attacker can gain access to your home network. Yes, the one you do online banking from. Also, all of the devices in your kitchen will now be recording data about you. Along with the privacy implications, this data might be used to map your behavior and patterns, which could be utilized by others if not properly monitored. I don't know about you, but it sure would be neat to get a text message from my coffee maker. Let's take a step outside and see how IoT might translate to the extension of our homes. The autonomous vehicle industry will only continue to grow by 2025. In fact, 55% of our participants indicated that they would prefer autonomous vehicles over any other method. Autonomous technology actually works by using lasers or radar alongside software algorithms to monitor the area around the vehicle to provide a safe means of travel. Here's Fine Driver. <laughs> I really need to stop talking to myself. Here are a few things to be aware of with the new technology that may be in your cars. We're already beginning to see this in certain models, but this technology will likely be prevalent in every vehicle by 2025. These vehicles will provide the best available method for connecting to the internet. It might be using a phone network, a satellite, or even accessing the internet via other passing vehicles, such as other cars or buses. Some people even call this the internet of moving things. Remember to download your security updates. These modern cars operate just like your devices and need regular updates to add new features and fix security vulnerabilities. Believe me, you don't want to miss that new upgrade for your braking system. Well, that about does it for us here. I hope that these tips have been helpful as we continue to move to a more connected world. Remember, mind control is not magic. It actually utilizes normal technology such as Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, and it can identify you by your brainwaves. Make sure that you are continually monitoring and updating your IoT devices. Privacy and security will be key issues moving forward. Feel free to stop by our website at i2poli.org or learn more about how we are advancing this technology for humanity. I hope you enjoyed the segment. See you next time.